they are gold medal winners, Olympic champions. KWQC's Fran Riley explains the two young men you are about to meet certainly know how to carry their own weight. Buckle up. It is weightlifting time. Lift. Kevin Schmieder. Lift. Down. Press. Okay. Rest it. And Jason Halkius are weightlifters. Obviously makes me stronger physically and mentally. The two Special Olympics athletes who shine in both the bench press and the deadlift. Marie Randall is their coach and says weightlifting requires quite a bit of mental preparation. It does take a certain amount of ability to, to, to think it through, to know what they're going to do. At the Special Olympics in Iowa City earlier this year, Kevin struck gold, deadlifting 185 pounds in his division. The key to his success... Flex. Think straight. 18. 19. Jason and Kevin have tremendous work ethic and understand that oftentimes the hours spent in the gym translate into success during a competition. You have to start slow and build your way up. Every practice, you know, I go up about 15 pounds on some of these machines. These gold medals are a tribute to their athletic accomplishments. Medals emblazoned with the words skill, courage, sharing, and joy. This story goes above and beyond lifting weights and winning medals. It's proof that special needs athletes can compete and succeed when given the opportunity. Athletes have the ability to do whatever they want to do, and they can be successful. Lift. Down. Looks good. Don't underestimate us. And I, I guess I, not, I, yeah. I love that sound bite. And I, chose specifically to put it at the end of the story because Jason really leaves you with a lot of food for thought. Don't underestimate us because we can do this and we can do it very successfully. You oh, know? Good for them. And they've won a lot of medals. You've got one here? Yeah, this is just one. Of the, and they've won in several different types of events, too. You know, shot put. There have been some events in the winter time that they won in as well. They were uh, deadlifting there about 115 pounds the day that we that we shot that. And their work ethic, as I mentioned, is tremendous. They will work out just to warm up before they even start weightlifting. <laughs> They'll work out on like 11 or 12 different machines. Wow. Kevin when you can do that. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, work ethic, very important. That's very cool to see. You know? Awesome. And they've been doing this for quite a while. Yeah. Um, Jason's been off and on since about 1995, and Kevin originally started up in the Dubuque area, and both of them, as a matter of fact, I think Kevin may work with your son, he told me. So. Oh, at, at, at hy <laughs> Yeah, oh, exactly. Well, that's awesome. Well, good for them. And, you know, yesterday during the Olympics, I don't know if you guys saw it, but the gentleman from South Africa, who's a double amputee, mm -hmm. was able to make it yeah, to the Olympics. And he the wasn't, yeah, the which was really awesome, yeah. and that gives inspiration to folks around the world with disabilities, as do these two yeah, young men in the Quad Cities. Very inspiring. I really enjoyed it out there the other day. All right. Nice job, Fran. Well, to watch today's story or any of Fran's features, you can visit our website. And click on the Fran Riley Features icon right there on the home page. You can also submit story ideas for Fran there as well. If you want to watch the most recent of Friends features, all you have to do is go to our website, click on the news drop box, and then you'll see the Fran Riley features tab there. You can also submit your story ideas for Fran in that very same place. Hey, we want to give you an update on someone who was the subject of one of Fran's features back in 2012. This is Jason Halkius in his recent performance at the Iowa Special Olympic Winter Games. Jason spent about five weeks practicing at the River's Edge in Davenport for his performance last week in Dubuque. At one point during his performance, there was a problem with his music. Jason had to then start completely over, but he did so without missing a beat and earned himself a gold medal for his performance. And he's kind of a jack-of-all-trades fan because you did a story on him in 2012 when he was weightlifting. Yeah, we were up at the, the North Y and he was dead lifting and mm -hmm. uh, you know doing all of that sort of thing and he's just got an engaging personality you know and the special olympians and uh, you know the music doesn't work out quite right you keep on going anyway yeah Eric. he got to start over and he thought that was cool <laughs> and that's great a gold medal i yeah. mean we just have to take a moment to congratulate him for that yeah, <laughs> that's, exactly. excellent. that's excellent and i was looking at the script from when we did the story about his weightlifting and the medals that they get say 
you know, skill, courage, sharing, and joy. And that's what this is all about. And that's what he exudes. Yeah. Yes, he does. And we want to thank you, Jason, for sharing your video with us. It's yeah. always nice mm-hmm. to catch up on, you know, people that we've talked about recently. Yeah, you know, that's here. why I love interviewing these people. Yeah. All right, nice job. <laughs>